This time of year, people are heading to Glastonbury, England for the Glastonbury Music Festival. Some of them to see Coldplay perhaps as an act of self-punishment. Other people, of course, are going to see a British icon people actually like, Adele, or <laughs> King Arthur. I get this too. For centuries, Glastonbury Abbey has been the home of the mythic king's tomb. Or has it? Glastonbury Abbey, residing in rainy county Somerset of rainy England, has been said to not just be the oldest church in England, but to be the home of King Arthur's tomb. But for all of his Excalibur grabbing and chivalry having, did King Arthur ever get around to dying in Glastonbury of all places? According to Abbey monks in the 1100s, uh, yeah. After a devastating fire destroyed much of the Abbey in 1184, those old monk boys claimed they'd been digging around outside when they happened upon human bones. King bones! According to the monks, they happened upon the bodies of King Arthur and Queen Arthur, or Guinevere, as she probably liked to be called. Soon enough, pilgrims with their pilgrim cash started flocking Glastonbury well before Coldplay could ever trick people into doing the same. Shame on you, Coldplay. The monks even excavated Arthur and Guinevere's bones and reburied them in a nice fancy black marble tomb. With this new historical heritage, the abbey soon became the second wealthiest monastery in all of England, back when that meant something. In fact, it was a big honking deal, both being the oldest church in England and the home of King Arthur's tomb until last year, when Professor Roberta Gilchrist and the University of Reading archaeological team did something stupid. They checked the facts. Gilchrist and her team analyzed records of items excavated from the Abbey between 1904 and 1979. As it turns out, everything found in Arthur's grave dates between the 11th and the 15th centuries, not even close to the time Arthur fictionally existed. And to further upset the story, what did Roberta's team find in the tomb? Not bones, but some kind of not bones, commonly called rocks. So, turns out it was all fib. What fibber did the fibbing? And now, it's time for my personal theory. This whole time, there's one question no one has been asking. Why did the Abbey burn down in the first place? Faulty candles, right? Wrong! Let's take a look at the Abbot's apartment before the fire. And after? Hmm, the whole fire thing seemed to work out for the Abbot. You have to ask, who benefits? Then, you have to answer, Abbots, duh! Abbot this, Abbot that. I'm an Abbot, I want this. Well, sorry, Abbot. Sometimes you don't get what you want. Unless you're an Abbot, then you do. Ugh, oh, Abbots. The video down here looks good. Well, on this one over here, that looks like it'd be a fun time. I don't know. I'm not telling you what I think is fun. Watch another video. You're gonna love it.